it's it look like I purposely but, but did it's it. also more <laughs> authentic in a way yeah. because yeah. Drew would have just put it on put it on sure in a way I think when it's somewhat imperfect yeah it's better yeah hi I'm Angelina Avalon and I'm a makeup designer My role in a Broadway production is to design uh, and establish the makeup for the particular production. Um, I start the process by reading the script, meeting with the creative team, the costume designer, the director, the actors, the choreographer. The design process for me, it's about telling a story. As a makeup artist, I paint that story in color. The Little Barmaid is a makeup artist uh, dream. Uh, it's a beautiful visual show. Everyone um, underwater had a certain kind of sheen, a certain kind of skin quality. We used all cool tones. We used a lot of shimmer, a lot of glitter, and a lot of gloss. When I started designing The Little Mermaid, um, I had to do a lot of research. I went to the aquarium and watched underwater creatures after we've done our research, we start our makeup sessions with the actors. We're here with Rogelio, mm -hmm. who is um, playing Sebastian, the crab. His makeup is a lot of fun. He's a tropical creature, so I felt that we had to use some wonderful oranges. We use a lot of red pigments in his makeup, a lot of coral pigments. When designing a makeup for an actor, we get to work with the actor very closely. I think makeup is a very personal experience. It's putting something on your face, on your body. You're transforming the way you look. For a lot of actors, it's a very important part of the process, especially if they're working on a show where they're required to become um, someone very different than themselves, like Sebastian. And ultimately, as they get more and more comfortable, the makeup becomes a second skin. And we're done. Absolutely. Now I am <laughs> Sebastian. Hello. <laughs> I've done many monsters, many villains on Broadway. Ursula in The Little Mermaid, the Frankenstein monster in Young Frankenstein, the Grinch in How the Grinch Stole Christmas, there are a lot of shows that have seemingly natural makeup. Um, to an audience member, it probably looks like there is no makeup at all. However, the sort of no makeup look on stage can be extremely challenging. It is still a lot of work on the makeup artist's part, on the actor's part. Uh, it takes days to refine. The character of Sherry in Rock of Ages is um, a seemingly natural makeup. This is the, the Marilyn Monroe look. Sort of innocent, fresh, hopeful. So her colors, of course, reflect her state of mind and mood in Rock of Ages. We are under rock and roll lighting. The lights are very bright, they're very angled. We have a lot of color on stage and a character like Sherry has to do quite a bit of color correcting. Oftentimes, actors, especially young actors coming to the theater, are not used to wearing makeup. And also, a part of my job is to teach the actors um, how to do their makeup, how to apply their makeup quickly, um, how to get ready within the um, half hour that they have to get into hair, makeup, and costumes. When I first met Constantine Maroulis on Rock of Ages, Constantine hadn't done much makeup, so it was, it was difficult in the beginning. Remember when we first put the eyeliner on you? You couldn't keep your eyes open? That's true. One day I'll get to do a show with you and you'll get to do all kinds of like, maybe we'll do cats. Maybe. <laughs> the same with, with James Carpinello, who plays the rocker. Uh, James had to learn how to do an 80s glam rock makeup, and that took some practicing. He's getting quite good at this. Yeah, he's getting really good at that. I had to teach the guys how to do uh, a smoky eye. We had to teach them how to apply their own 
fake tattoos and maintain them. The result is, is often a great collaboration, great memories, and oftentimes we have some good stories to tell. Woo! We're ready. We're ready. There is as much research that goes into that seemingly easy 80s makeup as there is um, with, uh, with shows like Young Frankenstein or Little Mermaid. The outcome is different, but the research process is the same. I always find that I get better with every show. I learn so much from collaborating with great designers, great directors, and actors.